So ABC conducted an experiment trying to gauge how many people are wearing masks in airports. ABC's Gio Benitez has the results. Scenes like this one are becoming more and more common on planes. I'm sorry that you don't like it, but I mean, I don't like wearing a mask. Some passengers refusing to comply with mandatory mask rules. Well, I'm going to ask you to come off the aircraft. But Dr. Henry Wu with Emory University's Travel Well Center says people need to be extra vigilant when hitting the skies. When you're at an airport, you really don't know where people are coming from. Absolutely. Airports, as you know, are a mix of people from all over the country and the world. People may be coming from areas with high rates of COVID. To find out if passengers are wearing face coverings at airports while traveling, we did an experiment. GMA producers visiting the ticketing areas at three popular airports, Miami International Airport, New York's LaGuardia, and Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson. In one hour, in a single spot, we counted to see how many people were wearing masks correctly, incorrectly, or not at all. What did we find? At Miami International Airport, we counted 302 passengers wearing face coverings, eight not wearing one properly, covering their nose, and nine not wearing one at all. At New York's LaGuardia, we saw 207 passengers wearing masks, 27 wearing one incorrectly, and 16 with no mask. And Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson, the busiest airport in the country. In an hour, we saw 450 people wearing masks, 35 not wearing one properly, and 23 not wearing a mask at all. Most people were wearing masks, but some just weren't wearing them correctly. And it's very important to cover that nose, isn't it? Absolutely. We inhale through our noses and, and touch our noses, so keeping them both covered is very important. A recent study at the University of North Carolina mapped locations in the respiratory tract to see where COVID-19 most likely infiltrates the body. They found that the cells that line the nose may be more likely to become infected with the virus than the throat or lungs. All three airports we visited had signs indicating masks are required. This sign at LaGuardia even makes it clear that the mask must be over your nose.